Welcome back to the Indiana. This is the second dive of the day with Osprey Dive Charters, the first being the Dean Richmond at 110 feet. The Indiana lies at 95 feet. On my way down to the wreck, I ran into some friends on the line. After a brief and entertaining greeting, it was time for me to say goodbye and continue with my descent. The wreck immediately comes into view after passing through the thermocline, which is at 70 feet. Bubbles escaping through the deck boards is a sign that there's a diver inside penetrating through the wreck. Also known as the Stone Wreck, the Indiana was able to be identified by its unusual cargo of paving stones. This diver is using an underwater scooter to explore the wreck. The Indiana is one of the most popular shipwrecks to visit within Pennsylvania waters. In spite of being a local favorite, it is considered a deep dive and proper gear should always be used when making a dive on the Indiana. An exposure suit can come in handy as the temperature ranges from the mid-30s in the early season, rarely exceeding the mid-50s in the late season. In the distance, I make out a burbot, which is towards the bow of the ship. The first thing I notice is its distinctive camouflage skin pattern and white underbelly. It also has the distinctive barbel on its chin. And getting even closer, you can see the tube-like nostrils projecting outward. It has two dorsal fins, the second of which extends down to the paddle-shaped caudal fin. The anal fin is low in profile and is nearly as long as the second dorsal fin. Its pectoral fins fan out on each side of the fish's body. Having such small fins relative to its body size indicates that the burbot is not a strong swimmer and prefers a benthic lifestyle. All crewmen survived on the Indiana, and this seems to create a more playful atmosphere among the divers. Lake Erie is home to an estimated 2,000 shipwrecks, all of which have a different story to tell. And each individual shipwreck has its own unique lost piece of history. After enjoying nearly 25 minutes on the shipwreck, it's time for me to head up the mooring line, which is located on the starboard rail. As I start my ascent, a diver hovers over the deck and illuminates the mass of paving stones. I take one final look as the wreck vanishes as I rise through the thermocline. Thank <laughs> you.